What was the name of that town that libertarians effectively abolished and got overrun by beavers? <sighs> what? <laughs> I wish to know more? Desire to know more intensified. Belab? Bears! Oh my god, I don't know why I read that as beavers. Well, now I'm less interested. Bears could overrun a town easy. Beavers, they have to work for it. We're essentially playing a, a, a middle ground game between two other games that we've talked about, one of which we played. Thank you for participating in Early Access. Terminus is a game that is currently in development. A lot of functions and game features are being added or modified. Updates can be found in the Steam News. Okay. Oh! A lot of bug fixes. Don't, don't show me again. Canadian coast town being overrun by beavers. Like, could you imagine the damage they could do? They could make a giant dam, just flood the whole town. And then they can move in. Easy peasy. <laughs> Be their town, Beaverton! I actually, uh, have remorse. My hair is still a bit damp, so I'm gonna be moving around. I gotta I got shower much more in advance of stream. <laughs> I always shower and then I show up with wet hair, and I hate how it dries. New game. Let's not even worry about anything else. Soldier, firefighter, police officer, and then we have a lot of locked ones. Unlock it by surviving two occupations. If we survive one job, we get a row. If we survive two jobs, we get a row. We survive three jobs, we get a row, and then, if we survive four jobs, we learn how to drive a car. <laughs> unique perk bullseye, unique perk tool expertise. So as you can see, uh, this is kind of a, a Project Zomboid experience, but it is a turn-based roguelike, kind of like uh, Cataclysm. Dark days ahead, although... Only in that regard to Cataclysm. Cataclysm is much more like, what the fuck? Like anything could happen in that one. It's not just zombies. Giant fucking robots can show up. Our towns get overrun by fire. Man-made fire. Gender reveal fire, thank you very much. How the West water issues could be linked to our killing all the beavers. Those sons of bitches with their goddamn Beaver hats, they did this to us. We gotta make a time machine. Project Zomboid is... is not for everybody, and it's certainly a challenging game. I found it very fun. I certainly will probably play more of it in the future. But I could definitely see why you would bounce off of that one. Level 1 melee attack damage, combat instinct. I might go with a, a firefighter here. Damn England and their top hats! The long-term endgame mechanics get ruined by the quick death mechanic, in a sense. Well, I, depends on what you're looking for in a game. Like, Zomboid is very much... It's, it's occupied with the concept of this is going to be a tough one. Like, dying is supposed to happen a lot. Wish to play it, wait for the last stream to be published. It should, it should be up and running. I gotta remember to publish those before I, I go off and do my dinner and sleep stuff. I gotta, like, play this goddamn game. You can use points to set stats and traits, but not stats. Wait, no. Stats and traits, not... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm still waking up. Don't don't mind me. There was a joke, and then I realized it didn't make any sense. What do I want the top of my head to look like? I want a tail. I want to look like a happy dog from the top. My name will be... Oopy. There we go. Uh, strength, health. Let's throw a point in the health. I'm pretty sure that's going to be important. Uh, a point into combat. And a point into... Crafting quality and repair efficiency are increased. When your agility's high, you can avoid attacks. Yeah, a point into agility. Oh, I can select a trait. Spoopy. Oh, you're right. We should make it spoopy. Coffee preference. 
with only one point available. Uh, I could either be into getting drunk, getting cigaretted, or getting buzzed. Uh, you know what? We're drunk. We're just gonna- the zombie apocalypse sucks. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, kind of ignore the problem as best we can. You can choose a different scenario. Sanctuary. Default game scenario. Recommend for players who want to experience a classic zombie apocalypse. Oh, classic. Classic zombie apocalypse. You published it. Oh, thank you, Pony. I also uh, just turned it into a highlight as well. Just seeing coffee reference in this way has made my desire to go get a cup of coffee. Yeah, I, I had a cup not too long ago. It's not doing its job at the moment. But also, like, it's, it's hit or miss with me. Coffee is either going to make me feel slightly more awake, make me feel sick, or make me feel tired. And today, it's mostly tired. It's a three-sided coin toss every time. Oh, thank you. I've always wanted to be a highlight. What would a three-sided coin even look like? Come on. You could see a three Just use your imagination. You misread that as... as poop? Uh, poop? Was supposed to poopy? But now it's spoopy. Infected zombies are attacking people. Your house is still safe, but electricity and water have been cut off, and there are a few supplies left. In your last communication, you learned that the surviving people have gathered in Terminus. Arrive at the Terminus safely to survive. Interesting. So... This has an end state. There's a win condition. Oh, excellent. I should have made my name a little bit longer because we're actually breaching breaching the line there. I'm probably going to have to move my my tiny little version of myself on the screen. Uh, tip, you can get a radio and listen to the broadcast or follow the railroad tracks to find out where Terminus is located. Keep picturing a D4. Just make it a D3 instead of a D4. Easy. Easy. Come on. Yeah, I think uh, I think I should probably go on a migration here because I'm covering up a lot of stats. There we go. That's probably fine. It's up now. Yeah, you're good now. The game has four main panels: information panel, character panel, action panel, and the menu panel for when you want to order pizza. You can check the information panel in the top left corner for the current time, location information, and weather. S Cel Celsius? No! No! What is this? British? Get out of here! No, how do I fix this? You can check the character's condition, details, experience, stats, and traits in the character panel on the bottom left. You can see more details by hovering over them. And you have a backpack. There are buttons to give commands to the character in the action panel in the bottom right corner. When you first start the game, there are only five buttons. Move, attack, change location, dismantle, craft, and sleep. More action buttons can be added as you acquire tool items. Menu, help, and map are up there. And uh, there are two bars above your head. Hit points and... Oh, action points. Interesting. And two are... <coughs> Fucking Celsius. What is this? Cel science? Celsius is good if you want to, like do science, but if you want to, like, understand how a person feels in weather, that is what Fahrenheit is for. Get out, get out of here! Kilometers! <gasps> Disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> Excuse me. I got overexcited. I'm sorry. Player's turn. Player, other survivor zombies, and turn. We got a sleep button, a craft button. A break furniture button. Oh, fuck yeah, this house is coming apart. I got a plank on the floor. Let's move over there. Did I pick up the plank? No. I desire to pick up the plank. I must learn how to play the game. Force open break furniture. <laughs> Details. Experience. Stats. Traits. Shit, backpack. There we go. Floor? There's nothing on the floor? No, I want- there's definitely something on the floor. 
They didn't see me. They didn't teach me how to pick stuff up. Open the door. Am I out of points? No, I have plenty of points. Unidentified. You can search the furniture by placing the character on the same time. Now search it. There we go. Find useful items by searching furniture. Current AP, 13.4 AP. <laughs> okay, yeah, search. Couldn't find anything useful. Well, damn. Search that one. Oh, got a book. Number two, and tools. All right. Go search this. Ah, oh, yes, because 76 sounds like a comfortable number, while 62 or 89 do not exactly. You understand. You, you get what I'm talking about. You're picking it up. Search. Alcohol, a weak medicine, and a lighter. Zombie. Consume an extra AP when going through. Low probability can cause sprain. It's closed. How do we pick up that plank? I would love to, like, nail that closed. Not enough tape for you to open the door. Uh, I will end my turn. Hey! Stop! Stop! Absolutely stop that! How do I pick up the plank? Uh, a rag on the floor, another door. What the fuck kind of house is this? Is this outside? Oh shit, maybe close that door. It's a... Who designed this house? What's this for? Hi, welcome to my apartment. Uh, you'll be staying in, in this room. Uh, don't ever step into the rest of the apartment, please. I'll be deeply offended if you do. Does this go outside? It's a creepy closet. That's another door outside? Where, where do I sleep? I can't do anymore. Well, I kind of regret leaving the door open when I ran out of points. So I have a couch. No television, no kitchen, no bathroom. It's a shitty apartment. Creepy paper. Guillermo, look! Creepy paper! Kindle, start a fire. Might as well burn my house down. Listen, zombies are stupid. They're gonna keep trying to come through the window, and that's fine. Player turn. I only got half my AP back? Take it. How did I do this? I clicked on my backpack? Jesus. That's weird. It didn't show me the plank on the floor last time. Creepy paper. Uh, in the television show. Where am I? Television show, what we do in the shadows. Holy shit. It's a big, big place. What we do in the shadows, a vampire finds cray paper. And they think it's called creepy paper. And we're like, oh, we gotta get this creepy paper. Is there any benefit to staying in the house? Absolutely not. Spooky dookie paper. Uh, we'll go out this way because this is like in the direction we want to go. Outside the building. Go. Go here. Do it. Now go. Fuck. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna die. I don't know about action points for a game like this. I feel like uh, turn-based roguelikes uh, work best when they're just actually turn-based roguelikes as opposed to action economy roguelikes. Go! Move outside! You discovered the house. My house? A house? I can't do that. Oh god, I'm out of AP already. Did that zombie not know how to follow me here? That's good, I guess. What is this? No possible paths. Ah, a zombie, you say. Goodbye. Oh! Fucking zombie. Well, attack the zombie. Oh. With uh, an axe? I mean, destroy the head. Or <laughs> destroy or remove the head to kill the zombie. Too far for a melee attack. So we need to close the distance. 
I do find it interesting that the game tutorialized me, uh... Pretty hard in the house, but not so much for this. How do I get closer? Advance! Advance on the zombie! Alright, we'll have to get close, and then we attack the zombie. Right there! Goodbye, zombie. Head balls, the space between his calves, all the places you want to attack. What is that? Well, oh, a screwdriver! And yet, no screwdriver. End my turn. Get my points back. I struggle with how I pick things up off floor. On floor. Backpack. Why? Do I click on floor? Oh, okay. There we go. Don't mind me. Uh, I'm in the learning process. I'm breaking in. G? There we go. G. Thank you. Bat! Bat! That's how you do it, zombies. Go inside. Take more board. And your turn. Go over here. Find useful items by searching the furniture. Yeah, do it. You got apple and lettuce. Okay, so someone in their haste to get out of the zombie apocalypse is like, fuck, what do I do with this apple and this lettuce? Honey, just put it in the fucking drawer in the hallway. All right. You're right, sweetie. As always. Always right. You found the Prime Minister. Uh, compression bandage, tool parts, car fuel. Ooh. I don't know why I would keep a jug of gasoline in my apartment, but... Who am I to judge? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna spend two turns to get all of my action points back. Is that Krath? What's going on, Krath? How are you, buddy? How are you doing? What were you playing? Give me a shout out for Krath, please. They were playing Rim Worlds. How was the Rim Job World? Tell me all about your time. What'd you do? Did you do any war crimes? It's always war crimes in that game. How's it going, bud? Search. Oh yeah, how's the new DLC? Did you become a vampire? Street map? A novel? Good. There's a zombie in this house, isn't there? You son of a bitch. Bap! There's no longer a zombie here. Fancy Massachusetts liberals not keeping gasoline in their apartment. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Building an army, it is so nice being able to just fix your viewers rather than letting them die in the bed. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, the part of that uh, expansion that is most entertaining and interesting to me is definitely the you could become, like, blood vampires via genetic engineering. You discovered house. I bet I did. No zombies, huh? Terminus' Neo Scavenger meets Project Zomboid with a dose of Cataclysm. This is a pretty accurate Steam Store description for that game. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. I'm glad they mentioned Cataclysm. These turns are very strange. Yeah, I don't know. Like, my main criticism right now is when I think of turn-based games, I typically think of... You know, I think of Rift, uh, Rift Wizards, I think of, uh, of Caves of Cud, like, if I move, the world advances a turn. And I really prefer that, because even though it's turn-based, it, it has a sense of forward progression the whole time. Like, I never really feel like 
those games are slow, despite their, um, them being turn-based. But this this action point economy is really, really weird. I, I don't know how I feel about it yet. Ah, oh, sweet! Bat! And now we just have a lot of fucking zombies coming over here. I don't think I have enough action points to... Yeah, mm, well, that's fine. Yeah, I like interrupting my move when I see a zombie or something. There's a number of ways I feel like this could be uh, slightly more sensible. That might be the word I'm looking for. Still looking forward to whenever. Oh my god. Dwarf Fortress, I'm very excited for. Like, I really like Dwarf Fortress, but I hate relearning Dwarf Fortress because my brain can't hold on to the nested menus and, like, how to do things. But I've been watching the developer, uh, developer diaries on... BAM! BAM! Developer diaries on, um, Door Fortress. And... The menus are now contextual, so if, like, you want to do something that's related to the Tanner Shop, you click on the Tanner Shop and, like, it just centralizes all of that information there. It makes the game a lot more efficient to play, so I'm very excited about the, the Steam release. Oh, you had some ramen! I don't know why that zombie had ramen, but, you know, fuck, I'll have it. Am I hungry or something? No special conditions, no items equipped. We have HP, AP, satiety. So we could we could go with a little bit of uh, eating. And we could definitely go for a nap here. Where's the front door? We're gonna we're gonna take a nap, I think. Fresh bread, fresh meat. Why why? Why in a cupboard? I think once you get over the curve and get into D uh, Dwarf Fortress hack, it's super rewarding. I agree, but, like, if you haven't played it for a little while, you have to basically do it all over again. At least I do. Die with your pockets filled with flash-fried noodles. Where do you keep your meat? <laughs> the the list of horrible things I tried to think up just to reply to that was like, In your butt? Like, oh, that's the best I could do? Amazing. I'm very sleepy. Steel pipe! Oh, hell yeah. Coffee? Oh, baby. Lightweight jacket, canned corn, an aluminum bat. Yeah, I mean, they recently left. It is now nighttime. Oh, perfect. I'm ready for bed. A thick book. This book is thick. There's no, like, comfortable place for me to sleep in this house? This house doesn't have a couch? Come on! In your butts classic. Have you checked inside your butthole? Skeet up, beat up, butthole. Tool parts. Alright, how how do we sleep? There we go, we just sleep like that. How do we eat? Fresh meat. Can I cook it? May cause disease. Value low. Value medium. Become stale. Oh, let's definitely eat this bread. Eat some apple. E eat some lettuce. Can we cook? Start a small fire. Oh, cool. This probably won't end with us dying. Gotta figure out how to cook. Do I have cooking utensils? Like, can't I just put it on the fire? Come on. Fresh and bandage painkiller. Checking out another zombie game. It's true. Well, the bread's not going to be stale because I ate it. Attack, change location, dismantle slash craft. Maybe we could cook in here. Crafting is not how you cook. Okay, understood. We're tired and depressed. Yes, there is a warmth overlay. Current tile's already on fire. There has to be a way to cook, right? Oh well, eat the fucking meat. I don't care. Just eat it. We're nice and full now. Yeah, we did set the house on fire, but you know what? Go to sleep in the fire. Oh, 
Oh my god. That didn't kill us? That's amazing. House deserved it. Like, I feel like this should also be a thing where, like, you know, click on the sleep button and then have you keep sleeping until your energy is filled, not hit the end turn button a hundred times. I'd laugh if that gave us morale. Oh, hell yeah, house on fire. All right. Wake up. How do I not have any action points? Did you see how long I was not doing anything, game? Nice toasty socks. Hey, and we woke up just in time for daytime. Perfect. Excellent. All right, go over here. No possible paths. Open, open the door. Mega, what's going on? Go that way. I bet I'm going to discover house. <gasps> I was wrong! It was a library! Looking through the window. Alright. Seems nice enough here. You discovered crack dead. Would you like to smoke crack? I'm, I'm going to keep in mind, you know, game's early access. There's probably a number of things that we're talking about that will eventually be implemented. But I, I think, again, my main thing is I think the core, like the action point economy, is probably going to be my biggest sticking point. Donde es la biblioteca? Went to an open house for a crack tent. $400,000. Do you profit off of the crack sales there? Like, what's the benefit to owning the crack den? Thick book. You know, my character has low morale here. Would smoking crack help us out? I mean, would eat, eating just raw ass coffee do it? Drink a beer. There we go. More morale. Quark! Happy Monday. Nope, if I run out of points, I just stand there until I hit the end turn button. Taking all these books, I don't think I need them. There's no fire for me to fight, and I feel like that's why my character has low morale thick book. Also, like, maybe stop auto-taking all... He's gotta buy a crack house. Gomper's been thinking about turning over a new leaf and just becoming a, a crack slumlord. Nuts, canned ham, sweater. I, I am just taking these things, right? Let's see if we have canned ham here. Yep, there's... Canned ham. Ham. Some nuts. Doesn't go stale, huh? Brahma doesn't go stale. Doesn't go stale. Nice. Canned food is great. I don't see why we would ever use anything other than our axe for a weapon, though. There's only rock and roll clowns in there. He likes cocaine, thank you. Not that I would know if cocaine is actually fundamentally different from crack. I assume it is. Uh, let's eat a can of ham. No, don't put it on the floor. Eat it. Does reading books do anything? Let's find out. Street map. You can use AP to check for information. Confirm. Uh, I am here. Let's uh, discover some information about here. Hold on, let me end my goddamn turn. You happy now, game? Street map. Don't put it on the floor. Uh, 
fire station? I could use it here? There's a place to check there. Use it. You know of the location, house. And also, house. Where are we trying to get? You know, we should try and get to the fire station. I will... I... Just... You've gotten experience. Uh, tool expertise. Body strike. Sharp ears. I haven't noticed a, like, audio system so far. I'll take my I'm good at hitting things with axes. Now let's go back to using street map. I want to kind of like build a pathway to fire station. My hot pocket completely blew out the side. Disgusting. This is a family friendly stream. Why would you say these things? Grocery store. Now that seems like a nice, nice place to go. Shut up. There should be a system for it. Just automatically get action points while you're doing map stuff. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be a real sticking point for me is this action point economy stuff. The location of house. I'm trying to, like, figure out how we get to grocery store without backtracking. Actually, it's not backtracking. We would go left. Can we get, like, a point in between? We're currently at library. So we go left, down, left, up. There's nothing, nothing in there. Interesting. What happens if we look at guidebook? Location of nearby store? God. I had some farts that cost 9 AP. It seems a little clunky. It's, it's definitely maybe a little bit more than clunky. I'm also like... I don't really feel at risk taking time just to read stuff. I already know where grocery store is. You're useless. Fifteen. <gasps> I know where electronic store is. Throw it on the floor. So if we read this book, we get sharp ears. Skill for s Ooh, skillful search. Start reading. Two hundred and twenty-seven pages. Oh my god. <clears throat> Is there a shorter book that gets me that? 250. All right. Jamaican Hot Pocket. <laughs> have, why have I not played Seven Days to Die? Because I don't have that, I don't think. Please. Oh, oh my god, yes. Mm. Both elbows popped. That was, that was a satisfying one. I already had full AP. Whoopsies. Uh, uh, energy. I'm, I'm getting ready for sleep soon here. All right, what we got? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Survival cooking. gonna take me all day to read this book. You all remember what to do whenever anyone says a secret word, right? Scream. Hey, wait a minute. That's right. Scream real loud. It's not supposed to be Lich. I did update the word. Maybe I didn't hit the save button. That's probably what happened. Hold on, let me go hit save in there. What happened? There we go. Save. All right. Wait a little while for the cooldown, but then yeah, there's there's a real word of the day now. Did you update the prompt? Hot pockets are pretty vile. Hot pockets are not great, but I will eat them sometimes in desperate situations. But Jamaican beef patties are great. The word was. 
not supposed to be lich. Your, your hint, of course, it's a type of undead. Anyway, before I got distracted by this incorrect word of the day, I was trying to learn how to cook. Okay, just got to spend another full turn. <laughs> My ex-wife! There we go. Very important to hit that button. And here it comes. I'm gonna learn how to cook. Oh, we're so close to knowing how to cook. That's what I'm doing, Queen. But it doesn't actually read the whole book. It just uses all of my, uh, all of my points. I'm out of booze. I don't know how to help you, friend, with your, your lack of... We did it! We know how to cook now! Alright, anything here that's gonna increase my morale? We are a little hungry here. We gotta get to that grocery store. <coughs> I guess we're gonna go to sleep. <coughs> ha ha! I remembered to turn that off. All right, bud, here's what's going to happen. We're going to head over here. We're going to close the door. We got to go get those steamed hams. Now sleep. Mmm, steamed hams. I surely have that be one of my, my soundboard buttons. Uh, nothing I like more than hitting the sleep button over and over again. Uh-oh. I think someone wandered in. I'm not done sleeping yet! Fat! Well, I guess I'm done sleeping. Uh, let's consider... Consider where we're going here. Take out my street map. So yeah, from where we are now at library, we want to go left, and then down, and then left, and then up. To the left path! But well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard of these steamed hands. I also don't think I like that the fog of war stays fog of war until I'm done moving. Like, it should reveal things as I walk, and like Gomper said, like, auto stop when zombie appears. You brought your breakfast. Nintendo Chalmers! Super Nintendo Chalmers! Move to house. You discovered house. Um, uh, still not terribly high morale here. Ah! You know what's really crazy? You, you notice the other survival survivor turn button here? If I recall from the uh, the promotional page when they sent me this key, they are planning for this to be a multiplayer experience. I don't know how to get in there. We can fucking walk through the door. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna confirm that. I, I don't wanna say lies. Give me one second to take a look here. Go to the page. Go to page! Go to the Steam store page, perhaps. Store page. Ba -da -ba. <coughs> oh, maybe I'm crazy. I must have been reading something else. Never mind. It already is multiplayer? What? Really? I had no idea. For this game, Terminus? 
Wait, I guess I had an idea because I said it. Shit. I often read a bunch of information about stuff and then the stream starts and I can't remember what I read. Project Zomboy. That I know is multiplayer. I remember reading something about this one, but that could be... I was reading a lot of stuff earlier, and I could be... It's the worst! Oh, my morale is so low. Can we, like, find something to help with the morale? Maybe maybe some booze? My man's an alcoholic! Give him some alcohol here! Okay, good. Not multiplayer. Ignore me. I'm glad, glad we took some time to talk about it. I don't know where this... Where this false memory came from. I may have been reading about another game at the same time. If you get caught in the rain, you will get wet as much as AP used. If you end your turn outside, a large amount of wetness will be added. You can also prevent from being wet by using items, like umbrella, I'm assuming? Big house. Soul Stone Survivors. I have not. There's so many, so many Vampire Survivor-esque games right now. I've definitely not tried all of them. Bone Razor Minions has been my, my enjoyable one at the moment. What do you mean no possible pads? All right, I closed the door. Vampire Survivors Twitch integration now. I should definitely revisit that then. I love integration. The beatings will continue until morale blue improves. Yes. You played the demo of Soulstone Survivors. Oh, okay. Well, that's... I have played it. <laughs> Was that the one I liked? That is kind of like 3D. People get ragged all flung all over the place. I remember one of them we played and I was like, this is pretty fun. Eat the potato. Eat the orange. Eat the carrot. We still have any alcohol, so I am still not feeling great here. Yeah, they're they're all priced in like the dangerous impulse buy range too, which I find fun. This house has a door leading outside everywhere. There's just a million ways to get into this house. Take a nap! Well, actually, first, can we make something? We can make a compression bandage. A makeshift knife, maybe? Makeshift lighter? Ooh, a nail bat! I mean, we have an axe. I feel like that's already more than enough for most of these encounters. But take a nap, dude. Just, just take a nap. This'll help with morale. What was the title for the Vampire Silver clone that was uh, not safe for work anime style? I don't remember. I was disappointed with how much actual uh, dirty content that game had. I, I, as a filthy pervert, I was I was let down. It wasn't wasn't that titillating. Someone coming in through the window? Just keep sleeping. It's probably not our problem. Is it nighttime? What time is it? Shit. We're 135% warm? Where'd the zombie go? Did it give up? He'll be fine. The window's good. The window's really holding out. Uh, we want to go down from here. Down. Like, if there's zombies here, I don't even notice them. I'm just walking right, right by them all. Well, the zombie didn't notice me, I guess. Sorry, what? Yes, now left from here. You don't know how to get there. It's called walking. The zombie's out of sight. 
No, we're not trying to attack the zombie who's standing there. Here we go. Got him. That How to Train Your Dragon game. That one was just like a fake, fake uh, titillating game. Have you gotten beaten up any more bottle caps or other small inanimate objects? Thankfully, I have not lost any more eyeballs via bottle caps. Well, Chris, did you see the horror game where you play as a guy who lost three of their limbs? Excuse me? I, I am unfamiliar with this one. All right, now from here we go up. Almost to the grocery store. I hope it's one of those adult grocery stores where instead of food, they only sell alcohol. Ow! Wow. Well, we shouldn't have gone out at night. Lesson learned. Game over. F fast forward. 11 miles left to the terminus. Only went to six locations. That game went from this is very easy to I'm dead. <coughs> Wait, are you just rolling the same character? I kind of wanted to see. <laughs> I played Project Zomboid yesterday. Yeah, like, I don't know how the zombies can see me and I can't see them. Oh, I had a lantern. I should just use the lantern. Come on, load time. You can do it. Yes, I did, in fact, die several times in Project Zomboy. Yep, I, oh, it just kept me as spoopy. Alright, now that I understand the game a bit better, let me just quickly fly through here. Got an umbrella already, that's good. <laughs> Very rude of you. I'm so sorry. Hello there. <laughs> Varanon! Oh my god, that's right! I remember you were supposed to be here. Hold on. Let me, let me, uh... I definitely have to go, go pee very, very soon. Let me just, uh, get some AP points here. Alright, I gotta go pee. B BRB. I'm definitely not BRBing just so I can go give Varanon uh, a big old hug. I'm back! Continue. Yeah, I think uh, multiple floors in the houses would be nice. Like, anything just to kind of mix things up a little bit. Have I already done these? Furniture's empty. I did these. Uh, let's take a look at our books now. Like, did we get a street map? Skillful search, keepsake collector. Morale to plus two. So we got a good book. Oh, so novels. Novels help with morale. The less effective it is, the more you read. Skillful search. So we could search more efficiently if we read this. I think that's worth spending a bunch of AP on early. The zombies are trying to figure out how to get into my house. That's fine. We are still a fireman with an axe. We'll just obliterate them. It'll be fine. Skillful search. No, don't put it away. Should be a trait called Weeb. Maybe one of the other classes. Like, there are multiple starting classes. <clears throat> like, our, our whole thing is we're alcoholics, so, you know, beer is how we feel better. If this were me in real life, it would, in fact, be... <coughs> Anime and manga would improve my my morale. Right. 
Sundered, I did enjoy what we played. We'll probably get to it sooner or later. I was using the Sundered soundtrack for when I was playing, uh... What was I playing? We have a fucking machete. Damage, 1.6, 1.9. Oh, no, the axe is still way better. We were playing, um, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And I was using the Sundered soundtrack for most of that. Oh yeah, Tormented Souls. The game bugged out toward the end, which was unfortunate. So our progress is forever kind of broken in that game, but... We could probably use the developer console to finish that game at some point. Because I did, I did enjoy... Tormented Souls. Oh, the door's mostly broken already. That's convenient. Skillful search. A rifle. Okay. Potent antidepressants. Things are, uh, things are taking a turn here. I would like to see some, uh, some shooty shoots in this game. Rubbing alcohol. Lantern. We'll actually use the fucking lantern next time. Guidebook. That's good. Just more book. The houses in this game are bizarre to me. Don't know how helpful a gun will be. Yeah, uh, again, how this game structures line of sight and uh, fog of war is very weird to me. Alright. Oh, we have a couch? This is the. F one of the few houses with furniture, we're going to take advantage of that by closing this door and taking a nap. On a comfy couch. We can also rifle through the couch cushions. We got ourselves a street map, antibiotics, and an orange. So let's end my turn so we have action points. Mmm, couch pills. It's too dangerous to sleep here. What? Because there's one zombie fucking... Bap! Bap! Uh-oh. Bap! Happy now? We go to sleep? We finally have a couch to sleep on. Sunset in one hour. Let's let the sun set. And now I hit this button a thousand times. Trying to sleep in here! I'm very hungry. Oh my god. Fucking rude motherfuckers. We good? Uh, eat an orange, eat an orange, eat an entire can of green corn. Go back to sleep. Waiting for daytime to happen. Sunrise in three hours. Two hours. No, I ate the whole thing, can included. Why waste a delicious can? I think they're too stupid to realize that the other window's open. Daytime! Wake up! Boop, 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 doo. The zombie's like watching me slowly walk over to it. Bam! Fuck you! 
Is that a Sony PlayStation on the floor right there? What is that? Oh, it's rags and tape. Less well, exciting. You've discovered house. Doctor house. Another house with a couch. Fuck yeah, Sony play. Is that a cat? Weak antidepressants. Alcohol? That's a strong antidepressant. Crowbar. Oh, it's a dead rat. That's a little bit less exciting. Alright, I got me a street map and a guidebook. <gasps> pharmacy! Read. We're now in a location of pharmacy. We are here. Pharmacy's there. We have Dangerous Place and Fire Station. But there's a fire station there as well. You know, the location of another Dr. Gregory house. Uh, get some more AP. Yeah, my, my primary criticism of the game is definitely the action point economy. It's very, like... It feels like you're spending most of your time hitting this button and watching it spin. Y you don't want the bulk of your gameplay to feel like that. For every 22 pages to read to get the location of a nearby pharmacy. I've only read three pages? How did I know the location of a pharmacy? Whatever, let's not worry about it. Restaurant. Yeah, like if I had multiple survivors, this would make a lot more sense to me. Very much agree with that. Oh, yeah. How do I get to... I want to figure out a route. wonder if any game developers hired civil engineers to see how zombies would likely move through a city area. I wonder if that's who you want to hire. I feel like you might be better served with, like, with a map and slime mold. Like, zombies are theoretically largely brainless and unintelligent. Like, they're just moving toward sounds and they're moving toward movement. So maybe just, like, how would they flow through a street? Maybe fluid dynamics make more sense than uh, people movement. Ugh. I would also accept, like, if I run out of points, just having that thing happen already. You know what game ruled? Adam Zombie Smasher. That game was surprisingly fun. Walking upstairs, moving less efficiently through doors. Like, one thing I, I think about sometimes is, um, for the movie World War Z. Really? There's nowhere for me to go from here? That's weird. I guess we have to go down again. Uh, for the movie World War Z, they modeled the movement of the zombies after, like, large colonies of ants and, and fluid dynamics and stuff like that, which is kind of interesting. Yum, yum, yum. I would back the Kickstarter for either slime mold based or traffic engineer based research like this. Shut up! Tool expertise. <laughs> I think any study on crowd movement would work. Amusement parks, stores, etc. It's just people desiring something and moving towards them. That could be directed. Zombies are nothing more than that, really. Yeah. Like, I'd be curious. I mean,. I guess, A, zombies aren't real, so that's that's one big part. But, be curious, like, doing a model where they will move based on sounds that are going to persist. Like, a car alarm going off would attract a horde, that kind of stuff. How would that impact their movements? God, AP stupid. Guy sure is sure of himself that zombies aren't real. I've never seen a zombie. Have you ever seen a zombie? 
player turn. Sunset in one hour. Well, it looks like it's time for me to get nice and comfy indoors somewhere. Just watch the camera feed at Walmart. Shit. It's a listener zombie. He's a good listener. Well, we He's dead now! That's right! Scream real loud! Fat. But which one, huh? Using at night, consumes charge, brightness 4 for one turn. Not enough charge, how do we increase charge? No idea how to use a lantern. <clears throat> yes, he would have been a good boyfriend. He was a good listener. This is not how nighttime works. That's another problem I have with this game. Like, you can see a little bit in the dark. <laughs> So I can break it into the house, I guess. What? Helmet zombie? More like a dead zombie. Delicious apples. Starting at half the possibilities last time, that's true. Slightly more efficient this time. Just eat apples. Just apples. Got a crowbar. An umbrella. Stuff I don't know how to use still. Morale's pretty low, let's go ahead and have ourselves a beer. Maybe we can find a safe place to sleep in here. Yeah, I'll just search this room. Theoretically, it's enclosed and we can take a nap in here. Good enough! Go to sleep! They can bang away all they want. They have to bang through these doors to get in there. Gotta sleep until the sun comes up. I miss good listeners, zombie. I don't feel heard while I'm alone in this house right now. Daytime! Get up. Each of these turns is one hour, yes. Which makes our characters super fucking slow when they do stuff. I'm sorry, did that say ammunition? How many bullets do I have? It just says ammunition. Do I just have one? Is it one bullet? I don't think that's the most useful, uh, useful amount of ammunition, but whatever. Why do zombies appear to just bash a window and then never come back? All right. We are at current location. I'm still trying to figure out how we can go from where we are to restaurant over here. <gasps> we got it! Grocery store to restaurant to police station. That sounds like a good series of destinations to me. I only need one, one street map. Alright, we want to go up and up and up. Easy. 
You gotta climb through the window. Peace out, zombies. Grocery store. No one keep. Did you say fire ox is broken? That's no good. What we got in here? Much like in Project Zomboid, I desire to eat an entire thing of just ground black pepper. Frying pan. Now we're talking. This game pales in comparison to Project Zomboid because of one thing, and that is the fact that I have collected zero undergarments this run. I want to try a gun, <laughs> but I know it'll get me killed. 1.3 to 1.5. 1.6 to 1.9. Oh, I have another axe. Well then. Oh, it's just a tool axe. I'm pretty sure I could use a crowbar as a weapon, guys. Do not eat spicy zombie. Well, we'll worry about it when he gets to me. He's a zombie runner. This man wants to tell you about his, uh, his running... and how good he is, is it? Search. Cereal wood bat. Canned ham cigarette coffee. Eat an apple. Can you throw things? It is a little painfully slow. Like I don't mind slow games, but like I said, this this little wheel, I, I'm not a huge fan of the action point system. Because Lord knows I enjoy plenty of, like, methodical games, but this is... Eh. A game like this could totally work. I agree! Like, there's something here that I'm enjoying. I just want... I want there to be a bit more to it, and I don't know about the action system. I feel like maybe just make it truly turn-based. That's my main complaint. Yes, and a little bit more. I mean, again, early access game, there's very, very real possibility that the things we're talking about will change dramatically between now and release. To look at it as an early access game, the bones are there. Like, there's definitely a build presence that makes me think, like, oh, this could be a pretty good game at some point. Yeah, a storyteller AI would definitely go a long way. You don't seem to be in danger until you die. Yeah, I'm mostly just contending with a series of meters, and those haven't been terribly challenging so far. Alright, let's pass a turn, get some points, and find out how effective our next weapon's gonna be, because we... Oh, look, I can have axe. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm sorry, is that a sleeping zombie? Zombies sleep? Goodbye. Let sleeping zombies lie. Yeah, I let it lie dead on the floor. Like, this is very, very reminiscent of Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid being a real-time game. The zombies are constantly following you, constantly climbing into the house you're in, so, like, you never really have time to just sit around. And that really keeps the tension high. This one, uh, it needs something to help with the tension. How is this not a full turn-based game? It's like an action point economy turn-based game, so, like... If I'm moving and doing a bunch of stuff, as long as I have action points, I know the zombies aren't going to be able to hurt or do anything to me. <clears throat> but if it were built like if I move to this tile while I'm moving to that tile, the zombies are all doing something at the same time, that would be closer to like what I consider a, a true turn-based game. 
Not to say that this isn't a true turn-based game. I'm just using terms to try and differentiate things, and I'm doing a poor job of it. I basically just want, like, I want if I'm doing something for there to be a sense of danger to what I'm doing. But I know I'm perfectly safe as long as I'm moving around with AP points. I would feel a little bit more tense if, like, if I took a turn, something else was doing their thing at the same time. Like in Rift Wizard or Caves of Cud or many of the other games we've played. Unidentified place. Mm, that doesn't sound right. I'm supposed to be going to a restaurant. Which means there's another up exit over here. Is this the one? That's alright. That's where we want to go. Bat! Yeah, like, I'm with Pawnee. I would really appreciate a uh, bit more of a cud system for this. Like, they're kind of using AP action points to represent time passing. But I feel like you would just do that by number of tiles crossed. Oh no, that's a bad time for nighttime to happen. Well, that worked out. Can I find like a relatively safe spot to sleep? I'll just sleep here in this corner. No, that's a very unsafe place to sleep. What about in here? Yep, right, right through the window next to me, of course. There you go. Go to sleep. Just gotta hope and assume that nothing gets through that door. Yeah, I really feel like most of my time in this game is spent watching this fucking wheel turn. That's what I want to- if my main thing I want to change about this game is I want this goddamn wheel to go away. How long? Nighttime, one more hour to go? Or is it 1 a.m.? Oh, it's 2 a.m. We have- we have a few more hours to go. Uh, nothing's going to expire, so let's have some canned ham. Make sure I'm in a room that is safe. I am definitely not in a safe room. Oh good, out of AP. Well, I think we're just gonna die here, aren't we? Oh, never mind. I don't know how we died last time. Sunrise in two hours. Go back to sleep. <laughs> I just had zero AP again, so that's why I'm confused. I was like, oh shit, we're out of AP and the zombies in front of us. I guess we die. But like, we took barely any damage this time. Rotten meat. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, throw that on the floor. I don't, don't think I need that. All right, now it's daytime. Get out of here. I also feel like maybe firefighter is a super easy mode because an axe just like cuts through guys. I was so excited to come to restaurant, but so far, it's all garbage. Urgh. Rotten, rotten potato. Rotten, rotten 
eat the potato. Oh, you canned food. Carrot, fresh carrot, rotten lettuce, moldy bread. I'm gonna try and cook with a pan. I hope so. Ah, uh, shit. I was hoping to toast that banana. Rotten cooked meal, a Snickers bar. I'm already pretty full. Don't need to eat. Yeah, we're gonna try experimenting with cooking. Rotten orange, rotten banana. Ooh. Increase experience by 20%. I mean, I'll take survival cooking, since we're talking about trying to cook. Alright, rotten. Whoop, I ate the rotten one. My bad. Drink some alcohol, just keep us uh, keep us safe. Wood glue? Can we sniff wood glue? That's like drinking alcohol, right? Alright, done with this restaurant. Think this is where we want to go? Yeah, some grilled spam. Fried spam police station. What's really funny is half of our... We have a disease. Damn it! Do we have any antibiotics? Antibiotics. Alright, use. Wheel. Bane of my existence. Yep, just watch me walk up to you and kill you. I could take some antibiotics. <laughs> Weak antidepressants. Police station's locked. Why? Helmet zombie. No legs for you. No body for you. I don't... I don't see a use in not going straight for the hedge. Even with a helmet. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Kitchen knife? Psh. Don't need no kitchen knife. This is a small ass police station. Oh, construction worker zombie. I'm pretty sure my machete will do just fine. Flashlight. Yeah, the fact that a full wheel turn only gives me half of my AP is something that has been slowly eating away at me. Durability 15%. Should really be not using my primary weapon for uh, most of the door stuff I've been doing. Be, be a little bit more efficient. Couldn't find anything. It's gonna be like the Project Zomboy police station where nothing useful will be in here. Alright, two more wheel turns and it's nighttime. An angled foregrip and a weak medicine. That's a weak medicine, man. Wood glue, potent medicine. So tired. Yeah, I know. We're gonna go to sleep soon. Calm yourself down. Spinning your wheels like I really am. Uh, lost a banana there. Lost an apple. Let's go ahead and eat the banana. 
and eat the banana. No, I said eat the banana. And suddenly dark. Whoops, can't see shit. A pistol, nice. All right, well, good night. Just, just keep sleeping until it's either morning or I'm full of energy. Or a zombie walks in. I beg of you. It is midnight. Yeah! Like again, early access. I'm trying, I'm trying to like really keep that in the fore of my mind while we talk about this game. But, like, I need these house layouts to feel like houses, and a police station to feel like a police station. The restaurant to feel like a restaurant. The grocery store to feel like a grocery store. Like, just make a pile of house layouts and have the game randomly pull them in. And then for, like, restaurants, police stations, like, you only need a, a smaller pool of those, but still have, like, a pool and pull them in. Like, this is a studio house. This is a police station right here. But it doesn't feel like a police station. Nothing about this really screams like... Police station. A studio police station. I, again, I, I feel like... The bones are here. There's the bones of a game. The start of a game is here. But it's not quite there yet. Make a fire using a lighter and then cook. Yeah. All right, we're going to throw some spam in there, some uh, potatoes, some carrots, throw some pepper on there. All right. We got, we got something here. We got pepper, carrot, potato, spam. This is gonna, gonna be a meal. Oh, hell yeah. And now we'll do, uh... Am I out of pepper? Shit, we're out of pepper. Some canned meal with, with potatoes and carrots. Never mind, we're out of action points. The fire, the fire went away. <clears throat> the fire didn't last very long, huh? Ah, whatever. We got it. We got a meal here. Boy, that really fills up your your satiation. No, don't throw it on the floor. Eat it. And a big boost of morale. Nice. All right. Can be attached to gun. Can it? Grab. I do have rifles, right? Oh yeah, modified rifle. Probably don't need all of these rifles, but it doesn't seem like there's a weight limit. All right, let's let's equip a rifle next time we're we're seeing some zombies. We'll we'll try doing a shoot. I am curious about a shoot. Broken and broken. Not broken. Street map guidebook. We already read the guidebook. Ooh, head strike. Keepsake collector, keepsake collector. Don't need two of those. Strong spirit. Don't need three keepsake collectors. Probably don't need that many novels. One broken radio is probably enough. Cool. All right. Uh, and I'm curious. We're at the police station. I mean, I guess a pharmacy is where we want to go now. We don't have a gun book. Ah, we'll be fine. You worry too much. What could possibly What could possibly go wrong? 
hardware store. Cool. Wait, what if we, like, go all the way out? Can we find Terminus out here? I'm curious, like... I want to see if we could find, using the stupid book, the end point of the game. It's also kind of silly that the further away you look on the map, the more AP it uses. <laughs> That's not how maps work! Like, oh man, it's gonna take me hours to look at that part of the map. It's all a piece of paper. Really? Is there no up direction for us? I guess just left. Let's go. Fuck it. Oh my god. It's like a spire progression pattern. Railroad? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I mean, we just want to follow the railroad. That's that's how we win the game. Let's fucking go. If we die on the railroad, so be it. I don't give a shit. Good thing zombies don't know how to climb fences, idiot! Learn to climb a fence. Do 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 do. Just gonna kill the zombie. Axe is broken. Accuracy plus zero percent. Fifty percent. It's Asa. Hello there. Let's let's try a rifle. I don't. I don't care if we alert all the zombies. That's a good, good option there. Yep, we only had one bullet. Well, goodbye. Clear debris. Ugh. AP to use max move. What? It's the zombie doesn't have legs. I don't think we need to worry about that. Can I not go around it? It's gonna be nighttime soon. <laughs> Remove debris. I'm using a shovel now, plus 900%. Man, nighttime turns take a long time. I guess because there's so many zombies trying to eat us. Bye. Unidentified place. I think it's gonna be a railroad. Can't sleep here. Why not? Sleep here. I have to sleep inside a building. Says who? Are you familiar with what it means to survive? Put that on the floor. Let's eat a carrot and an orange. Wow, wow, wow. Use your flashlight. Oh yeah, we have a flashlight. Good point. All right, what we got here? Two point one to two point five. 2.3 to 2.9, that's the winner so far. Crowbar to the head, fuck you! Even a flashlight lets me see two tiles, that's it. Ah, on, on, no!
Sorry, is my flashlight dead already? <laughs> Keep using it! What's wrong with you? You discovered railroad. I guess I should double. Double AP game here. Alright, can we get some energy here? I'm gonna eat some potent antidepressants. Eat some vitamins. Drink a beer. Probably a great idea to mix that in with everything else I've been doing. I need a chocolate bar. Oh, big zombie's scary. Big zombie's scary, he says, as he murders the big zombie easily. Running low on energy. Better hope we find a train station soon. Take, take, take your time, game. Crowbar, crowbar's broken? How? Uh, 1.6 to 2... Whoever does the most damage, obviously. Shovel? What? How am I too far away? Potent medicine, huh? Is there nothing off the path? I mean, it's too dark for me to see. <laughs> I figure the train station is... It leads to the goal. The goal is Terminus. It's a train station somewhere. So it's like, ah, fuck it. Sooner or later the sun's gonna come up. Spot zombie. No! Shovel's broken. And out of AP. Okay. Please don't hurt me. Oh, that hurt a lot. Ooh, no, please stop hurting me. <laughs> All right, I'm bleeding. Uh, bandage. Or recover by sleeping. Don't I have any, like, compression bandages? Could be used to make bandages. Oh, I didn't pick up any rags at any point. Used to cover a window. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take, uh, potent medicine. Fuck it. Kitchen knife broken. Machete time. Fuck, man. I'm really burning through all my, my stuff. Hopefully the zombies don't figure out how to get through fence between now and uh, sunrise. Following the train tracks was probably a bad idea. Sunrise in one hour. Can I make 
nail bat. I need some barbed wire or I need some nails. Well, it's a bummer. Flashlight on, let's just go. Never mind. Pretty sure we're gonna die. Well, that's fine. I'm getting reduced AP here. There's also no reason these actions need to take this long. Yes, that is another major complaint of mine. Here, take a rag. Can I make bandages? We need bandages and alcohol to make bandages. Well, fuck. Can't just use rags. Makeshift bandage requires two rags. Here, hold on. Make a makeshift bandage. Not enough AP to make it. Good thing the fence is here. What? They made a hole in the fence! Pretty sure we're just fucked. Good listener. Here's another wood bat. We have plenty. How much AP do we have? Not enough to make what I need to make. <laughs> I guess severe headache is probably what's stopping us from having AP. Alright, make it. Make it. Nope. Hold on. Gotta gotta take another turn. Ha ha! <laughs> what if you just spelt one wrong? What if what if that? What, what, what happens then? Can we make fucking bandages now? Bandage! Use! Now we just have a headache. None of my pain medication will stop me from having a headache, apparently. Well, I'm gonna stand where we need to be. I'm just gonna try and get the goddamn AP I need to leave. Cold, tired, headachey. What do I need? Twelve? One more. Yeah, apparently doing all the drugs and, uh... We did it! 25% damage when attacking the head. Nighttime visibility goes up. Head strike. <laughs> it's like, fuck it. Take the medicine and pass out. As far as the zombies know, I'm just a corpse now. Make a fire. Consider hopping the fence and finding a path? Probably. Hey, the zombie walked away from me, even though I have a fire next to me. I'm getting no AP. I guess we just have to go to sleep. You see, that's, that's a vicious cycle you've made for me, game. I'm not allowed to sleep outside. But I'm not allowed to gain AP.
Like, I, I was figuring just follow the train tracks. That's where the goal is. Eventually, it'll get us there. I think I'm wearing it already. As far as I know, I'm wearing the clothing. I haven't visited 135 locations. Well, I'm going to continue desperately trying to get enough AP to just go somewhere. Oh, sweet. Make fire. Make some rum. Oh, I don't have enough AP to cook. There we go. There we go. Lack of energy is bad, but you know what? I don't have an answer to what I was going to follow up there. It just, just is what it is. No lights available. Make a bunch of fires. Try and get enough AP to do something. Ah, oh, good! Death has come for me. It's over now. <laughs> I have plenty of more wood bats where that came from, lady. Now we know, if we ever play this again, we need a lot more rags. Alright, I was gonna try and hop the fence, but not in that direction. There's zombies over there. That fence sucks. I don't like that you're not allowed to sleep outside, like... I should be allowed to take the risk of sleeping outside. Ah, oh, sweet debris. Well, fuck. Just gonna have to hop the fence. Gonna have to try and find a house somewhere. I just wanted to follow the train tracks until I died, but I'm denied this... Also, as someone that's gone several days without sleep, like, jeez, come on. It's only been, like, less than 24 hours we've been awake, and the character's just like, I can barely function. Map button, you're kind of in the way. Oh, we're fucked. There's no, there's no exits to our right? We are fucked. How are the zombies on that side of the fence? It's a skeleton of game. Cut some slack. I see what you're trying to do. Fuck it. Just go. We found House. Dr. House, God, I need your help. and just, just do what you gotta do here. Eat eat the pills. Things are dire. Shit. Oh good, it didn't notice me. Some radical self-love. Oh no. We're not gonna have enough AP to kill this guy. Do what we gotta do! Cause this fainting? What antidepressants have you used in your time? 
Oh, the zombie may kill me. <laughs> Sorry, did we get zero AP from that turn? Okay. There it goes. We finally found a house. I should have just crashed in through the window. I feel like there's there's a game here. It's not ready yet. It's not it's not ready to come out of the oven. But like what's here is interesting and I would like to see it grow. We might check in on this one after it gets a few updates. Mummy now by itself. It had you drop like you were fanning. Interesting. I've had an antipsychotic that would like fuck me up and I would uh I would just drop sometimes, but not, not any antidepressants I was ever on.